In this episode, I'm talking about bad networking advice. This is advice that you usually read online and probably isn't very helpful to most of you listening to this. That's because most of it is not written for people who are introverted. It's not anybody's fault. It's not terrible advice. Again, I'm saying it's bad networking advice. I probably should say it's bad networking advice for introverts because it probably works perfectly well for extroverts or other people who are maybe a little less introverted. But if you go online and you are to Google something like, how do I network? And I, and I did a Google search here. Um, and so I uh, Googled, how do I network? And you know it's gonna bring up a bunch of search results here. And you can scroll through these, but most of these are gonna be articles that are written by some online magazine or some job board. And it's gonna go into advice for networking. And some of these things, this is like from Indeed, um, tips for networking, you know, talk to new people at networking events, attend new events, bring a memorable business card. All things that assume that you're going to want to go to a networking event. And if you're like me, going to a networking event is a lot of work. I don't look forward to it if I am going to go because I feel like I need to go either I'm speaking or I want to see some people or I need to make some connections with some people. I really have to get myself ready for it. I really got to get the energy up and I have to have a plan. I have to go out there and do it. Now, I have talked about in other issues going to conferences and how to network at conferences and how to network at events and things to make it easier. It is possible. But most of the people who send me emails asking for advice are looking for ways to network without going to events. How can you do it so you don't have to stand in a room of strangers? And what I think is the what what I think the challenge is is these people are are trying to figure something out and they're going online and they're searching for how do I network and all they're reading is articles and advice that say, you know, how to network, you know, effectively, right? So, you know, go with a goal in mind, have some conversation starters ready, introduce yourself to someone more experienced. Okay. Again, assuming you're going to be okay in a room full of people and you're going to have enough energy to get over your introversion, to go up and talk to these people. And I, I think most of us who are introverts don't like to do that. Again, it doesn't mean we can't, we just prefer not to. So when you read these different articles, when you read different things about how to network and you see things like bring a memorable business card, you get in your head, that's what networking's all about. You get in your head that it's about coming up with an elevator pitch and picking the right event and having an opening line or an icebreaker or some great conversation starter or some cool way to remember people's names. There's nothing wrong with doing those things. Okay. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with this for some people. It just doesn't work for all people. When you go out and search online and this is all you find in the search results is these kind of things, you start to think that's networking. And so you start to have this negative connotation about networking that it's all about shaking hands and trading business cards and things like that and tracking connections and coming up with a way to follow up and stay in touch. It's not. There's a whole nother side to networking that most people don't even realize. And because they think that this is networking and they, they, they visualize that idea of going to an event and having to to talk to somebody cold without even knowing them and not knowing what to say and having those awkward conversations, they go, I'm not going to network. And they just decide that's it. I'm not doing it anymore. And so they, they say, I don't know how to network. I don't know where to start. I don't know how to have conversations. They're awkward and they seem superficial. And there's another way to do it. And that's what I talk about every single week in the newsletter. It's what I talk about on this podcast and the audio podcast and all my LinkedIn posts. There is another way to do it. And you just have to change your frame of reference. What do you think networking is? And I think networking itself is a bad term for 
a lot of us because we do think of it as as salesy or kind of slimy or kind of sleazy and we think of it as like backroom handshakes and who do you know and who are you related to and stuff like that so if i could come up with a better word that everybody knew what i was talking about i would i think it could be connecting it could be personal community it could be personal relationships professional relationships i think there's a lot of words that we could use but in reality if you use those words, people aren't going to think of it in terms of helping you find opportunities for your career or your business. So unfortunately, while I don't like the term networking because of the negative connotations, I think it's a term we're going to be stuck with. I think we have to start thinking differently about it, though, and give it a more positive connotation, a connotation of it's about reconnecting with people you've lost touch with. It's about having genuine, authentic conversations that feel like you're giving to the other person as much or more than they're giving to you. And it's about mutual benefit and trust. It's about how do you then take that mutual benefit and trust and leverage that to meet somebody new. Because if somebody trusts you and you trust them, they're more likely to introduce you to someone else they trust. And when they do that, then you then meet that person and you start to talk to them and you get to know them and you build that relationship that then leads to another connection. That's the way networking should work. That's the way you should meet new people and find new opportunities or give new opportunities to other people you meet. That's the kind of networking that I enjoy. That's the kind of networking I'm comfortable with. That's the kind of networking I get excited about. I, I get excited about meeting new people and talking about things they're working on and then helping them out and making connections. That's that's something that I I love to do those things. And so going back to the the whole start of this, when I said it was bad networking advice, I guess what I meant was it's networking advice that doesn't work for a lot of people. And because it's the only advice you find out there online, people get the wrong impression and they don't want to do it. So what I, what I want to know from you or what I would love to hear from you is what other ways have you found to kind of overcome the bad or the networking advice that doesn't work for you? That, that that's a question I kind of put out to all of you this week is, have you found other things that work for you? Have you tried any of the things that I've talked about on this podcast or in my newsletter? Have any of them worked or are you still struggling with those things? And really where I want to get to with this is I want to know from you what you're struggling with. What would you like to learn more about? Or what would you like me to troubleshoot with you? What I'm really, guess what I'm really asking is, if you had an hour to spend with me and you could ask me anything about networking, what would you wanna ask me about? What problems or challenges would you want me to talk about? What topics would you like to go into? How would you like to put together a networking plan? I ask that because I can sit here and talk all the time about what I think you want to hear. It may not be exactly what you're looking for. And I would like to build a community where I'm able to help you and you're able to help each other. Meaning we get together on a live call, a live Zoom call or, or other you know platform we get on there. and. You ask me questions, I give you suggestions, and you can ask each other questions, and people can say, this worked for me, or this didn't work for me. I would love to create that atmosphere or that opportunity for you to help get, get, get some help as, as it relates to networking. Because like I said, you can go online and search for this stuff, and, and you're probably not going to find something that really connects with you. I would really love to, again, create that opportunity for people to get together and for, for us to be able to, to talk about what works, what doesn't work, and where you're struggling. Think about 
those things, think about what you might ask me and send me an email, leave a comment here on the podcast, leave a comment on the newsletter, message me on LinkedIn, whatever it is, I would love to hear what it is you'd be interested to learn more about. And then based on that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, a group, a, a beta group of people to test this out. And, and if you are one of the first people to kind of jump into the beta group, um, you know, you'll get to jump in there with me and all the other people, and we'll get to talk about how to get some help networking and what's going to work and what's not. And over time, if, if that works, we'll, we'll keep doing it. And, and eventually some of that information, some of those sessions will be, uh, things that, you know, maybe I create a, a course on this. Maybe I create other sort of videos to help people out. I, I don't know, but I, I really want to hear what it is you're struggling with so that we can focus on fixing those, those struggles and helping you become a better networker. Cause in the end, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to teach you to be a better networker, to get more comfortable, to find ways to connect with people and find those opportunities. Have a great week. We'll talk to you next time.